Hi friends, welcome to this class. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the morphine to apomorphine rearrangement, right? So on the left side, I have written the structure of morphine. So this is the structure of morphine. Whereas on the right side, this is the structure of apomorphine. So if you see the difference in morphine, we have only one aromatic ring. That is this one. This is the aromatic ring. Whereas in apomorphine, we have this is one aromatic ring and this one is the second aromatic ring right so uh, for morphine to apomorphine this reaction happens only when we add just hcl at 140 degrees celsius if we add this thing to this morphine we will get this apomorphine right so this is the simple reaction so how this reaction happens that let us see now so this is my morphine right this one is my morphine so to this what I am adding, I am adding this HCl, HCl, H plus Cl minus will be there at 140 degrees Celsius. So what happens? So here if you see this is nothing but ether bond, R, this is R, O, R, right? So this is nothing but ether, ether bond. So when we add this HCl, this H plus will react to this ether oxygen, right? So this is the thing what happens. So what happens is that, so we will get this product, see here. So this is our morphine structure. Now you should be knowing how to draw this morphine structure. So here we had ether. So here the hydrogen attacked. So oxygen gets positive charge, right? So here we had aromatic ring attached to phenol OH here. Here we have again one OH right and here we have double bond and here we have six membered ring then CS3 this is attached to here right so this oxygen as soon as it gets positive charge here oxygen so bond breaking happens how it happens see this oxygen gets its electron density by breaking this bond carbon carbon bond so that bond is broken further here the positive charge comes now so here the bond will break here and here the double bond comes here so we will get this product so this is simply rearrangement happens in acidic medium so what we will get we will get this C here everything will be same just little bit things will change right so what all the things will get here OH will remain as it is here we have double bond so with blue marker I am going to show what are the changes so here I'll get a pi bond here, right? And here I have N CS3, right? So that we will get here carbocation because that bond is broken. And here we will be having OH here, right? And other thing remains as it is. All other things remains as it is OH, right? So these things remains as it is right so can i write it uh, nicely like this so the same compound i will write it like this uh, i will keep everything as it is just instead of making this uh, i will show it here n ch3 ch2 ch2 plus other things will be same as it is so here i have double bond here i have double bond this is oh right here i have this is aromatic and now it is phenol 2 h are there as it is right further what happens just you see since <coughs> h plus is in acidic or uh, excess so what happens this oxygen is having lone pair it will attack to this so this oxygen gets positive charge now it's time for this oxygen to live as soon as this oxygen lives as water molecule minus h2o so here we will get carbocation but here if you see i have one more hydrogen here so that hydrogen will be removed so that the ring becomes aromatic just shifting of ring happens and we will get a aromatic ring so we will get this product shall i draw it directly here so what we will get so here the driving force of this reaction is aromatization initially this ring was not aromatic this ring right this ring was not aromatic if you see now now it becomes aromatic right so now it became 
aromatic so here double bond sorry just a minute yes so now it became aromatic like this you you will have double bond here here and here right that OH went as water molecule other things remains as it is here OH here OH here I have this pi bond as it is that is aromatic right and I have this nitrogen attached to methyl and CH2 CH2 plus it is right so electrophilic carbon I have here right so uh, this if you see this is aromatic ring so the pi bond will be in conjugation right so this pi bond can uh, convert like this so they are will, will be in continuous conjugation right so I will write the same structure like this so that it will be clear right so just I will write it like this right so I will make pi bond here right here also there will be pi bond like this we can show pi bond or we will show the resonating arrow that is like this within benzene ring if we show like this it is understood that the pi bonds are resonating these things you know right so uh, this is the thing right n i have ch3 ch2 ch2 this carbon is having plus charge now what happens see here so this is pi bond right so electrophilic substitution reaction so it will give to this electrophilic carbon so there is carbon carbon bond formation bond formation right so this this kind of reaction you have studied so it is simply like electrophilic uh, uh, substitution reactions like fiddle craft reaction there everywhere you have studied so we will get a ring formation here that is six membered ring formation happens right other things remains as it is right so here if you see just a minute so here n ch3 like this ch2 right so now the positive charge comes on this carbon sorry now the positive charge comes on this carbon now other pi bonds will remain as it is here as it is oh here oh here but <coughs> that positive charge will be removed because here i have hydrogen this electron density comes here that positive charge becomes uh, neutral and there is loss of hydrogen this reaction happens because uh, to aromatize that ring because you know aromatization is the driving force aromatic ring are more stable if you see their energy it will be less the energy of such compound will be very less so all compound try to go to aromatic ring so this reaction happens so fast that it becomes aromatic easily so here again we will get pi bonds which are aromatic and they are in conjugation and there is formation of a ring like this right so this is nothing but our apomorphin this is nothing but apomorphin so morphin to apomorphin reaction happens only in case of HCl at 140 degrees Celsius this will be morphin and this is apomorphin right so the structure of apomorphin is like this right I hope you enjoyed this video right if so share with your friends if you are not a member of channel please subscribe to it so uh, we shall meet in some more videos till then take care and have a great day